I mean, a burner phone could probably work out pretty good. Um, just to kind of, you know, keep the shit off of my back. Whatever you do, whenever you do a fucking, if you do stop doing this and you stop making money, listen, I'll help you out. Usually the way I work is money up front, but you know, you're a broke fucking bitch. So we'll get you going on your feet first, get orders. Uh, I'll give them to you in advance. And obviously, you know, we'll take the splits from there. Yeah. And you'll start making some pocket change. And then once you're stable, then you, you know, you'll notice like I did for that rat fuck that just left is now he literally pays everything up front because he has a, a good bankroll. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Nice. I mean, shit, man. Hey, listen, you want an opportunity. I give you opportunity. I mean, it's the opportunity that I fucking need, bro. I need some money. I need to make some fucking connections in the city, too. You know, my shit's like... Yeah, well, the, the only... Listen, I'm fucking trusting you. Understand me? Okay? Don't fuck me over. I'll, I'll fucking end your life. Whoa. I'll literally strap fucking 10,000 fucking remote bombs to you, motherfucker. You understand? I'll call them one by one, watching your body parts go flying each at, at each time. Nah, you wouldn't do that to me, bro. I 100% I would do that. Uh, you don't fuck with my fucking I, business. I don't think you'd do that to me. Ming Jingalingies, even though I know you forever, you don't fuck with my shit. So you're saying you, Listen, you might strap a bomb to me? <laughs> oh, many, not just one. <laughs> you know what I always wanted around in this place? Why? They ain't got that shit. That big. Fucking LMG. Oh, please don't get me started, bro. They ain't got that shit. If you realize here, what I've been doing to try to get shit in this fucking city, you would lose your fucking brain. I try so much, Mijalingis. All right, Ming, here you go. If I was you, take this, look at it, then burn now, it. Pigeon, what did I tell you? If you ever fuck me over, what would happen? You'll cut me up in pieces. Thank you. <sighs> well, I told Ming that I would strap bombs to him. Oh. I just want to see you suffer more. For Ming, it'll probably be pretty quick because I know him a little, very long. I know him for over five years. So it'll be a quick ending for him, but you, yeah, I don't know you too long. You know, I want to see you suffer. So this is what they go for on the street? Yeah, these are street street prices, yeah. All right. There was a big dilemma with Uzi, so definitely don't go anywhere below 5k. Uh, unless they're bulk buying. Oh, yeah, Uzis are a fucking headache. Wait, why? Yeah, that was just a big... There's, just, there's, a, there's yeah. a couple of rats out there that do shady shit. All right, cool. Is that all you needed, Vinny? That's all. You can all go right. on your way. Good luck, Ming. Catch you guys Goodbye. in the bit, right? Yeah, you too, bro. Hmm, all right. All right, so then, like I said, I mean, let's stop making you fucking money. Just get out there. Get your voice out there. Let people know you can get what you can get. You don't say nothing. Listen, I'm going to be real. Listen, bro, I've been through it. Only thing I'm asking you for is the respect of don't tell your fucking gang that you're working with me. And I know it's tough. I know it's going to be a bitch. I know they're going to probably press you a lot. But just be like, I don't even know who it is. It's a random phone call I get. Whatever bullshit you got to come up with. That's the only thing I would appreciate from you. All right. And what happens if I sell these for more? You probably won't make as many sales as because it's a competitive market, right? But it's not going to be like a problem, right? If I like, let's no, say this. No, it won't be a problem. You so the biggest problem we have is when people undercut. That's it. All right. Overcutting, I don't give a fuck. Do what you got to do. There was a point that people needed fucking thermite in the city so bad, it was like six k. People were selling that shit for me for fucking like eight nine k at pop because of how bad it was needed in the city. So you 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 you'll um, you'll realize the breakdown if somebody's at war and they need shit asap. And you need to get that stuff fast for them and it's a quick turnaround hey listen you might throw another extra grand on that you know what i mean because they need it asap yeah yeah no like convenience uh... so it's all on you it's all the way you make your market the way you fucking do shit, and that's it and you move forward that way Sorry, shit, easy all right yeah yeah easy man easy. i'm trusting you you understand me you blind fuck what do you mean? 
So th because I know the way your fucking gang is, you're a bunch of fucking <laughs> rats over there. That's why, bitch. Whoa, they're not rats, man. They just, you know, a little, little hyperactive sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're a bunch of fucking Ramis. Yes, I get it. <laughs> Okay. All right, so uh, go. I mean, listen, you have a you have a job now. Go fucking out there. Go fucking grab clients. You know, you might you might like you know like if you want, maybe you get with pigeon. See what the fuck is going on. Maybe you can make so you don't clash heads with clientele. You know, but let me tell you, pigeon, he's a hustler. He's out there. So oh, that's what I'm saying. It's like how everybody know that he's the fucking the go-to guy. So it's like. Well, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that now that they can go to you also, you know, and you could work together in a sense. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, who's like the main supplier for the South Side right now? Uh, that I don't know. Like I said, I don't deal with shit outside of what I do. You understand? Jay, thank you, man. I think the 28. I mean, though. Pigeon gets fucking people that I've never heard in my fucking life. Crews that I've never heard of. You know what I'm saying? Do that. All right. Go to the ballers. Go to GSF. I ain't never going you know down what I'm to that saying? fucking cul-de-sac, bro. <laughs> like, they, bro can, they can leave the cul-de-sac and come to me, bro. But you know, I ain't going. Bro, down, you're going a fucking to businessman at this point. You gotta be. You gotta have that drive. Listen, I know you have fucking PTSD from the cul-de-sac, but listen, when it comes to your fucking pockets, you're not gonna fill them up because you don't want to go <laughs> down there. I mean, maybe I meet them halfway. You know, they meet me at the gas station or something. I meet him at the gas station. Let me to tell you, but don't pull no fucking rust moves that you're fucking doing deals on their compound while they're at war, right? I mean, let's be real. Honestly, that whole fucking thing—they kind of stupid for that. Oh, they, they're 100 percent at fault for that. Yeah, I mean, and the fucking idiots a lot of that people, were delivering them are even dumber. I mean, you know, the thing is, like, a lot of people kind of blamed us for that shit, but at the same time, like, it, it's not your fault. That's the one thing I preach the most about. That's not your fucking fault. That's on them for doing the dumb shit that they did. You never fucking shit where you eat. It's that simple. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it goes both ways for both of them, to be honest. Like, why would Seaside even go there? They're fucking dumb, bro. That's a, the, 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 it's the logic. You understand? They're dumb as fuck. I think this is by far probably the dumbest thing that I'm doing, but I'm putting trust in you. That's the dumbest thing? Huh? How's that dumb? Well, because you work with the ops, bro. Nah, I don't think so. Well, listen, I'm taking a chance. I mean, let's be real. You know, I mean, I think we got a bit of a connection going. You know, like we ain't really. Hey, no matter what, I always consider you my brother. No matter where you are, no matter. Listen, we've always stood in touch. No matter what crew you're a part of, I always consider you family, and that's just it. Yeah, yeah, no, it goes both ways. But you know, right. I mean, I don't think. uh for the time being, I don't think we really got any reason to step on CG, you know? The only the only thing was the, the Eugene shit yesterday, but... Yeah, listen, and, and at the end of the day also, if there will be a time I could bet my fucking life on it. I'm going to preach this to you the most and put this through your fucking head. We end up going to butt heads. We're probably going to end up going to war, but we always keep business aside. And yeah. if you fucking come to me and we're at war and you say, yo, Vin, I need a fucking supply... Make no fucking problem because business is business and pleasure is pleasure. All right. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna keep you to that. Don't be, you know, no, you fucking... can't because, like I told you, bro, we've been at war with people that I literally would sell the gun, bro. It's a win win for us anyway because we're gonna, I'm gonna sell you shit. You're gonna give it to your boys. They're gonna buy it. We're gonna merc you and just take it back. So it's a fucking double profit in my end uh, anyway. So it does, it's not a big deal. Yeah, right, bro. I'm, I'm gonna come and take that AK off your back. Don't even worry about it. Hey, it's okay. I'll just go get another one. You think I give a fuck? Yeah, but then I come back and take that one too. So I mean, shit. And then I'll go get another one, <laughs> and then we'll take all of your shit, and then we'll fucking, and then you're gonna come back to me and say, "Listen, I need more." I'm gonna say, "Okay, here's the price, okay," and then we're gonna take it back again. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> all right, we'll see, mother trucker. We'll see. All right, we'll get out there, go fucking start doing some clientele, get rid of that fucking note once you have everything jotted down, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Vinny. Right. No problem, bro. I got you, homie.